Welcome all to this video. I am going to be providing commentary on this video I recorded of me creating a state themed isometric text graphic. I am a Minnesota based artist so naturally I'm using my home state as the uh, to provide the detail for this graphic uh, anyone if if you are new to isometric text or isometric art uh, you can look at uh, my previous tutorial video where I kind of cover the basics of isometric text in Corel draw uh, which will basically be Pretty much everything that I am doing in this video here, um, as you can see, I started out with just getting the the various text that I wanted to uh, lay out in my design. Um, on that left-hand side, you can see the kind of four orientations of various I the isometric text and. Yeah, I just played around with various orientations, layouts for about, I don't know, half hour to an hour before actually recording this just to get the uh, most ideal layout for the detail I was using. Um, and that's part of one of the fun parts about is the isometric text is you can you can literally create hundreds of different layouts just by switching text from being laying to vertical to going left to right. Um, you can kind of just get the ideal composition you're looking for. Uh, as you can see, I'm creating a kind of triangle uh, composition here and just playing around with the the placements of the various text and that state graphic um, uh, here I'm when I'm uh, playing around with the the scale and the placement of the text the I leave the the block shadow tool uh, effect on the text, and I don't separate the the two objects so that it stays dynamic, uh, just so I can get a better sense of the layout and how everything kind of lines up with everything. Um, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Minnesota is one of its most prominent nicknames is the land of 10,000 lakes so I'm making the the 10,000 part of that the kind of focal point being the, the largest element uh, in the graphic and giving it uh, three kind of uh, block shadow uh, extrusion layers um, and yeah uh, here I'm just continuing to play and tweak the, the layout and alignment of the various elements. thing you'll see me kind of fix a couple times here is redoing those the block shadow extrusion layers uh, and uh, when you because it's dynamic it's like the like I wanted a certain uh, depth to them but when you scale it scales dynamically so it'll go from point two to like 0.18 if you scale down or 
vice versa if you scale up. Um, once I have my layout done, or kind of more or less in place, now I'm applying my colors to the various objects. And for this uh, graphic, I got my kind of color palette from the color.adobe.com website, and I just searched winter for a color scheme. Uh, given that Minnesota is a very cold state and snowy half the year as it is right now. Uh, so I played around with, you know, which, which colors I wanted for the uh, 3D extrusion parts, uh, ultimately landing on kind of a, a middle tone from the, the color palette. And here I'm just lining up the the edges of the shadows so that it uh, appears that they are on the same plane, the ground plane. And as many designers and artists know, you never, you always want to try out different layouts and different ideas. And here. I got the idea of maybe of switching lakes to be vertical just to I don't know, give it a different look or I thought it might be more impactful um, so a quick uh, added uh, the vertical version of lakes just to kind of play out this idea and you'll see uh, that uh, not 100% sure. Um, I think I think it looks okay, um, but in in the overall composition, as you can see, I'm flipping. I duplicated my uh, page and just have both options on different pages so that I could, you know flip back and forth between the two options just to see which one felt better as you can see here and ultimately I think I, I decided that having lakes vertical conflicted with the focal point of the state map being vertical and ultimately it I think it is a better layout and composition to have all the text laying on the ground and have the state map being the graphic element be vertical and help to kind of create a circular uh, eye movement around the various elements. Um, so as you see I, I ultimately land on the the text lakes text being flat laying on the ground so now I'm just adding the shadow element to the the state map part uh, this is just just a black black fill object set to multiply so that regardless of what color or detail that's underneath those shadow objects of the map and the text that it'll appear as though that text is floating above the ground plane. And as I'm kind of fixing here, the I want the 32 in the state. So there's a 32, 32nd state added to the United States. Um, I wanted it to appear kind of like an infinity edge of going off into the ground plane and I was seeing like a weird kind of outline so I just added a small outline just to hide that and just to get the, the look I was going for and yeah so now that I've kind of finished all the, the layout elements I yeah ended up with what you see here as a just a nod to my home state playing around in with isometric text uh, you can do the same thing with 
your location where you're from to create a very pleasing graphic design element uh, if you like this style of video instead of a straight tutorial of me recording as I'm literally creating the, the artwork uh, let me know in the comments uh, this is just something new that I'm trying and yeah thanks for watching like subscribe and share